let's move to one other area of research that's so important to talk about, and that is imaging and PET scan uh, technology for women that are HER2 positive. positive. So, you know, one of the, we, we spent many hours at the meeting today talking about the different drugs that are used to target the HER2 uh, protein. And there's no question that these drugs like Herceptin have just been major advantage, advances in the treatment of, of both metastatic and early stage breast cancer. But clearly not everybody benefits from Herceptin. I mean, there are some women who have cancers that probably aren't responding to Herceptin, and yet we have no way of knowing whether they're resistant to Herceptin. And the reason I say that is that we always give Herceptin with chemotherapy. So if the cancer initially responds and then grows, does that mean their, their cancer is resistant to both those, those drugs, both Herceptin and, and the chemotherapy? And we don't have a way of being able to address when Herceptin is actually effective for a tumor. So we, we actually have a molecule that we've developed at City of Hope, which is Herceptin, and it has a, a, a radiation particle attached to it that we're studying in women who have HER2 positive breast cancer. And what our hope is is that this will tell us who is going to benefit from Herceptin and who maybe should receive one of these other anti-HER2 therapies because probably their tumor is not sensitive. So, you know, the way that Herceptin works is it sort of binds on to this, this protein that sticks out of the cell, but sometimes the HER2 protein is, is cut off, so Herceptin would never work, and yet when you measure the HER2 her in the cancer, it's always going to be HER2 positive, but Herceptin wouldn't work if this you know, molecule isn't sitting up to bind onto it. So we presume that when we do these um, imaging, we're going to identify some women who actually seem to be HER2 positive, but who don't take up this, this radio label when we do the PET scan. So it's a kind of an exciting area of research because we really need to figure out who does and who doesn't need Herceptin. And this study is now limited to City of Hope? It's limited to City of Hope we're, because it was, a, it was an agent that we developed and we're just in the early stages of, of really looking at it. Uh, the imaging agent, so. Well, thank you. I think imaging uh, needs to have a lot more attention, and I know there are difficult reimbursement issues when it comes to imaging. Yes. And I think unless we raise the profile of these new technologies, it's going to be difficult to push them forward and excel in continuing the development of new technologies in the world of nuclear medicine. I would appreciate it, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Joan Mortimer, the Director of Women's Cancers at the City of Hope Comprehensive Cancer Center in Duarte, California.